Central New York's most accurate forecast. Hello, everyone. We uh, take a look at the numbers. Do we have that picture, guys? Uh, we had a picture of uh, uh, Carol, and you can be able to see. Uh, oh, no, no photo. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll show that at the end of the show. Uh, anyway, we got the almanac here, the numbers from today, 58 over 35 in Syracuse. So uh, definitely a, a day which was cool, obviously, for the start of May, uh, but not as cool as yesterday, how we ended April. And we had an inch and a half of snow in Redfield, where Carol is, right? There was an inch or two really across many parts of the Tug Hill, half an inch in Fabius Pompey as well, reported from Bob. And uh, we had uh, two inches in Mansville in southeastern Jefferson County. So bottom line, it was uh, a little wintry late last night. Syracuse had some flakes in the air, just a trace of snow late last night, very early this morning. As far as precipitation goes, a little rain uh, to finish out the evening here, one hundredth of an inch as of 10 o'clock. We probably added a little bit more to that in the last hour. The numbers from April 49.2, so 2.3 degrees above average. Uh, even after the chilly start to the month with the snow on April Fool's Day and the chilly end of the month yesterday. I mean, a lot of warmth that first part of April. Precipitation, two and a half inches roughly, but still two thirds of an inch below normal. Uh, snowfall, half inch above average. And there are your extremes. 81 on the 10th of the month, 24 on the 2nd. Temperatures right now, 40s, low 50s at 60s. Look at the Chicago, 10 o'clock. And they're at 76 degrees. There's a battle zone setting up nearby. And this battle zone of temperatures, cool air to the north, warm air to the south, is going to set up nearby just like it did mid to late this past week. That's not great because we're going to be kind of unsettled off and now over the next few days to come as a result of it. Radar showing, yes, we've got some rain showers that are dropping to the south and east. See this rain heavy at times out toward Utica, Boonville, and the eastern part of the Tug Hill Plateau as well. This darker green is just ground clutter, all right? This is the rain. See the yellow and oranges and red? Lyleville southeast bound to Boonville and Utica. Raining pretty hard right now. A few lighter showers just southeast of Syracuse. This front racing its way to the south and east with a warm front. This warm front kicks through over the next couple of hours, and we'll see our temperatures actually rise into the mid to maybe upper 50s by morning. Then this cold front will come on down and kind of lay itself on us late morning, afternoon tomorrow, and as a result of that, we'll see some showers develop. So timecast shows overnight, once this little rain south and east of Syracuse gets out, the rest of the night's pretty quiet. Temperatures again rise during the overnight with a breeze out of the southwest behind that warm front. Tomorrow morning starts off dry, but after 9, 10 in the morning, some rain showers come racing in, scattered about, and some sun for you, Watertown, North Country, you're quiet. But much ascension near clouds and some off and on rain showers, all right, including Syracuse. They'll take us right into tomorrow night. Highs tomorrow within a few degrees of 60. As we go through tomorrow night, some rain showers around. Temperatures, mild 50s for lows for most. Monday, scattered showers as this area of low pressure moves in. And then as we work our way into Tuesday, a few more showers, some dry time near 70. Chance of some more rain and cooler Wednesday, drier for the last part of the week, Callahan.